hey what's up guys and in this video i'm gonna show you how to export your videos in adobe premiere pro so you have just finished editing your video you have added some titles and cool animations you have also mixed your sound added some sound effects and the only thing remaining now is to export your video so that you can share it with your friends or post it on social media or deliver it to your client well let me show you how to export a video in adobe premiere pro to export your video, select the timeline that you want to export, then go to File, Export, then select Media. If you don't select a timeline, let's say for example, you are in the project window, then you just go to File, Export, you'll see that this option will be grayed out. So make sure you select the timeline first, which you want to export, then File, Export, and select Media. On the Settings window, there are only a few things that you need to change. The first one is the format. This is the codec of the video. The most popular one, which is widely used on social media or share videos easily, is the H.264. So click here and choose H.264. On the preset, it depends on the destination of the video. If it's going to YouTube, I'll select 4K, but if it is going to Facebook, Instagram, or WhatsApp, I will select HD even if the video was done in 4K. For this one, it's going on YouTube, so 4K is good. I will select that preset. Then you have to choose which folder you want to save your video. Let me choose the Unify Film School folder. On the video settings, I will check this render at maximum speed, then scroll down until I find bitrate encoding. Click there and change it to BRI 2 pass. And remember, bitrate determines the quality and how big the video size will be. Right now, the bitrate is 80 megabits per second, and the estimated file size is this one. Let me reduce it to 40 megabits per second and see how the estimated file size has reduced. Most people usually ask me how I make my video's file size very small and yet still has a good quality. This is where the magic happens. If you reduce the bitrate, the file size will be very small, but as you are doing so, you are also affecting the quality of the video. If you put the bitrate so high, the file size will be so big, but the quality of the video will be also high. When the bitrate in the video is so high, it might be a problem to play on some devices. So find the right balance between what bitrate to use and what quality it will have. If you're gonna post that video on social media, get the recommended settings for that platform where you are trying to post that video. If you want to post it on Facebook, get the recommended settings for Facebook. If you want to post it on Instagram, get the recommended settings for posting videos to Instagram. You can always find the recommended settings on their websites. All right, if everything is fine, just check this to use maximum render quality as well and press OK. The video will start rendering and at this point, we can do nothing apart from waiting for it to finish. Once it's done exporting, you can locate the video where you saved it and play it back. This is lovely. Everything is okay. Now, in case you're wondering, hey, we didn't do color correction and color grading, I have created another separate course for that because there's just so much stuff to know when it comes to color correction and color grading. So I have done a separate course that is almost this same size where I go through each and every single item when it comes to color grading so that you can understand it better. Otherwise, this is where this course will end. I hope it has given you some insights if you are a beginner or if you were a professional already trying to just really know more about editing i hope this course has given you new insights otherwise thank you so much for taking this course i'll see you in the next course which is color grading this is it peace